Hello everybody, welcome back to ChatGPT versus Advent of Code 2023 and today it's gonna be day 12 of uh, this event so let's see how uh, ChatGPT can handle hot springs arrangements so I will copy as usual the problem in description please solve the following problem input file is attached so let's attach the input file from here and I'm quite interested to see if uh, ChatGPT will, will opt for a brute force approach or uh, like a recursive solution which would probably work for a simple input but not for the big one so we'll see Right. Hmm. So it's counting the number of question marks. That's interesting. I am not sure if this is the way to go. Unless I, I missed something. Uh, Uh, don't think this is correct. <laughs> so, uh, don't think. So let's give it a chance to correct itself. It's gonna test it against this input, which is described in in uh, the sample. Yes, because it wasn't uh, taking into account the constraints there. Right, count valid arrangements. That seems uh, like a recursive uh, solution that might be pro uh, more promising. <clears throat> so now it's 100. That's much higher than, than it should be. Ouch, doesn't work. <clears throat> but this, this makes much more sense now. It's it's more reasonable solution. There's some kind of mistake that ChatGPT did, but apart, apart from it, it, it doesn't, it shouldn't be too wrong. Question is why it's ignoring the question mark. <clears throat> That's not clear to me. Okay, so, so it's trying both options there. So that that makes sense. It's just experiencing some some uh, index errors. Apparently something <clears throat> is not handled correctly there. Let's see. 
but this is this is a promising solution so far like it's it's gonna be slow it's not gonna be efficient solution it's gonna not gonna be able to handle the big input file but it should be able to handle the simple one Ah, still experiencing some index issues. So come on, don't let us down. This is, you should be able to do this. Not sure, now it's using a completely different approach and that does not seem promising at all. <clears throat> Ah, okay, and it timed out. So I will. Uh, I I think I should give it one more try, just just to give it a chance to figure out the solution. Maybe now it will uh, avoid those syntax issues. <clears throat> Okay, some kind of recursive solution, which might be okay. <clears throat> but apparently it didn't finish in time. If, it's, if, it, if this doesn't uh, work out, we can <clears throat> still ask it to try to solve the second part of the problem because then it will be forced to use uh, dynamic programming and maybe that will be more successful. Yeah, this doesn't seem like anything even close to the solution. <clears throat> For the simple solution should look like a recursive function unless it's doing uh, dynamic right away, but I don't see it happening. No, 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 not at all. The recursive function above that it tried before, it was quite promising, but since then it's trying some weird approaches which like this this one is recursive so that could be better but still you can see that it's it's just having problems with those indexes indices and and uh, so it, it's not able to figure out those edge cases the specificities of the problem that are important. Eleven, so it's not better. It's improving continuously, but okay. So it's timed out again. Okay, I will try to ask it to solve the big solution, uh, the, the the advanced one.
<clears throat> yeah, I think it's gonna be using the old approach which was not working at all so that will certainly fail Yeah. Dynamic programming, okay. So now it's using dynamic programming even though it's not using a two-dimensional array, apparently. So there's something missing. <clears throat> I think you need dynamic programming for this one, unless I missed something, like a two-dimensional array for this one. So that doesn't seem correct, unfortunately. So it's uh, doing some kind of counting of the question marks in that segment and doesn't seem, that doesn't seem correct. So I'll just try, just for fun. Just try to give it a big hint. But it's probably just too complex to, to figure out this specific uh, problem. Like this seems more reasonable now. Like it should be handling uh yeah hashtag dot and question marks but i don't see like this is oh that's way too much and so i i think this this is some just something that uh chgpt will not be able to solve we gave it a chance even a big hint but it still is not understanding all the constraints and all the specific the specific rules of the problem correctly so it's it's skipping some of those. Apparently, the f it's skipping the size of the group. It's skipping uh, the fact that you need a dot before the group, so it's not continuous and so on. So I, I think it's just uh, unfortunately not the day for ChatGPT to solve. Oh well, we tried, and that means that day twelve remains now unsolved by ChatGPT, and we'll see. Maybe day day thirteen will be more to its liking, but yeah. Anyways, I thank you for joining this session. And if you want to get notified about future videos and future uh, non-Advent of Code videos, uh, please give me a subscribe and I will uh, publish them very soon. And I will see you in the next one. So bye-bye.